Hey guys, what's up? So today I've got a short little vid here. I'm gonna go over, I guess I'd say, some of the progress on our AeroSim kit fitting on the coupe there. And in addition to that, the main purpose of this video is to show you an example of a $10,000 body kit and a $1,000 body kit. So here we have the AeroSim Coupe WRC wide body kit. I've made decent progress in fitting this kit. The kit overall itself, as far as actual fit to the vehicle, is quite good. This kit comes undrilled, so you have to drill all the holes and mount it yourself. So you can see the profile on the kit is really well shaped to the actual profile on the car. And I mean, most of this kit, like this is hanging on there with three Clico pins. The bumper is hanging on with nothing. It's just sitting there and it almost looks absolutely perfect. And then this fender I have not got as far as drilling holes to mount it behind the door there. But so I'm going to pull a few of these panels off on one side of the car. I'm going to put our other bumper our other fender, our other quarter panel, and our other rear bumper on the car, kind of as a little reference as to uh, its fit and quality. So here we are in the other corner. This is the other body kit. This is from Body Kit Online Store. This is a fiberglass body kit. There's nothing wrong with fiberglass. It's actually, it's nice to work with. Very forgiving when you have stuff that doesn't fit absolutely perfect. This kit had been attempted to be installed by someone prior. Very questionable um, fitment attempts. So like I said on the AeroSim kit, you do have to drill all your holes yourself. Uh, there should only be four holes here. They have made one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So this isn't something you would blame on the body kit. This is something you would blame on the person installing it. And there's over to the other fender there. When I install a fender, I drill one hole in the right location. I don't drill ten holes hoping that one of them works out. There you have it. This was, as you saw there, maybe a couple minutes of plopping the body kit on. It is actually something I could work with. This is really not bad. Like, our bumper is just hanging on the beam there. So you could get it to a reasonable location. Our light is just sitting in the hole. Uh, not bad, the profile is actually quite good against the actual car. We have our skirt just stuck on there. As for our quarter panel, I do actually have faith in this quarter panel. The only thing is, is it has a taillight pocket, an underside taillight pocket, and below, it also has a tab there and a bridge across there. So for me to have this sit flat on our car's quarter panel, I would have to chop all this stuff out. And again, like this was kind of just an experiment to see overall kind of how this kit looked, what kind of potential it had. And I'd say for the most part with this little quick fit, I'm getting a pretty good 
feel for the kit. And there now it merges over to the um, AeroSim kit. So the AeroSim is actually a high arch kit, like a WRC kit. This is a 22B kit that we're using below there. So you can see the difference in the wheel arches. This one would carry along something like that. And again, looking at our 22B bumper versus the AeroSim front fenders, same thing. We're just high arch on the fenders, standard arch on the bumper. All right guys, I'm gonna end the video here. Just figured that was something cool I wanted to document while I had both kits in the house at the moment. I had picked up this kit for sale, used, partially installed, but I'm actually really happy with it for the money that I paid for it. I don't know what I'm gonna use the kit for, but eventually we'll find something for it. We do have a GF wagon in the back, and that was my proposed idea, was to install this onto the GF wagon and make it a two-door, which would be pretty rad. All right guys, well stay tuned for the next vid and more coming up on the AeroSim WRC Coupe, as well as we're gonna do one more fitment comparison video. It's gonna be the AeroSim kit aside the Loon Sport 22B kit. So stay tuned for that guys. Until the next one, peace.